This is GABNET, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Midnight tonight, and look who we got here an old friend, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Bobby Slayton, and his immortal words to me are, Let's get this over with. Yeah, you know, I told you this is the last podcast. What do you call this thing? It's not even a podcast. Oh, what I, the fuck I, is this thing? I don't want to call it a podcast, it's just the only method of communication that I have left in my lousy career. Yeah. Well, um, okay, well, you know what? That's why I can't call my career lousy because I'm retired. So <laughs> this is all I'm doing. That, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm retired. Have you, so, have, you, know, you, wait a minute. have you have you officially retired? I mean, is it that you don't care what time you get up in the morning and things like that? Oh, I get up at 6, 7 o'clock every morning anyway, but I did that when I was working. Because one, um, of, the, one of the big things with, I found with being kind of forced into retirement was that among other things, uh, I forgot what day it was. I never had that problem, really, because I always got shit going on. Yeah. You know, it's not the exterminators or the cleaning people <laughs> or the doctor or the girlfriend's coming up for dinner. I always, I always, yeah, I mean, occasionally I forget to get the day roll, but I used to get a roll all the time, you know, even when I was working. But I, uh, yeah, when you called me, asked me to do this, I, I'm just, it is, I have nothing to plug. I have nothing to talk about. I don't like talking about comedy. I don't like making small talk. I don't go out with people. I like to eat dinner by myself. I went out for breakfast by myself today with nobody. It's, yeah, I don't have to sit and talk to anybody. This is just a tremendous waste of time doing this. But you have a woman in your life. Right. So I got to talk to her, and that's, that, that sucks all the energy out of me and, <laughs> and all my patience and all my yeah, so, so every moment I have without her I don't want to be with anybody and that's why I want to get this over with you know I don't know what time you're airing this stupid thing but I have to go outside and do my sit-ups I work off my pastrami sandwich I had for breakfast which I never do but it's my birthday today so I bought a I was going to say that because Marjorie told me that today is your birthday this is being done on Wednesday uh, the uh like May 25th. May 25th. And, and it's your birthday. And how old are mm. we now? We are 67. Okay. And do you find that you feel 67 or do you not feel 67? I don't really know what 67 is supposed to feel like, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm, kind of feel like I'm 64. Well, we, uh, had, we had a little trouble with your iPad trying to do a, a Zoom call. Okay. Well, obviously it wasn't. I, it wasn't, I didn't have a problem because... It's the, obviously something was going on with the iPad because it's working on my phone. Yeah, that's right. I have a problem with everything around this fucking house. You know, I have so many things going wrong with this house and I can't really fix anything. So, um, you know, every day I have people here trying to fix shit. Uh, you know, it's costing me a fucking fortune. And when you're not working, that, uh, you know, it starts to add up big time. But yeah. I love my house. Yeah. My girlfriend lives right down the street. She's got a much, much, much bigger house. Um, but um, I don't want to live there. I want to live here in my house. I love my house. You like your I have house. everything I need right here. You huh? be, you've been in that house how long? Out uh, of 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Something like that. Um, yeah. When we bought it, um, yeah, probably 25. Well, you know, I got when my daughter was 12 or 13. She's 33. So, um, well, it's 20. Well, that's it's, over, it's definitely over 20. Um, yeah. So, uh, who knows? Over 20. But yeah. it, I don't know. It's the house, and, about, the, and the house is all paid for now? Fuck no. Oh, well, in that case, you know. Fuck no. No. Um, in fact, I don't even make, I don't even pay uh, my mortgage. I just pay the interest on the house. It's a lot cheaper. And so I just pay the interest every month. And that's uh, so why I'm saving a lot of money. Well, I, know? Thought, I, Not, thought that, uh, I thought that comedians made the big bucks. Uh, some comedians do. So do some radio people. So do some, uh, you know, store owners. Some don't, some do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it really depends, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, right now, my gardener's making more money than I am. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I, I do my Skechers commercials, the best sneakers in the world, and they pay me to uh, do their uh, radio spots and help write them. And, hey, because of you, uh, because of you, I bought Skechers. And they're the best. I, and I got to say, 
I got because you don't lace them up. Oh, you got those? I, you know, I get. I'm wearing those right now. As a matter of fact, those so. are really nice. But, those are really, really cool. nice. Yeah. yeah. Yep, very cool. So anyway, I'm just doing stuff for them. And, uh, you know, I mean, if somebody calls me, um, you know, I'll do a gig. I did a gig uh, two weeks ago in Reno. First time I went to the year, I, of course, got COVID when I did it. But who cares? You, you got anyway, COVID? I got over pretty quick. Huh? You got COVID, huh? Yeah, I got it. I was home for 10 days all by myself with my uh, – my with my wine and my drums and my food. Yeah, and did, and did you have any any real effect from it? Have you been vaccinated? Yeah, three times. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, you know, I, it was like a bad flu. It was great. People felt bad for me, sending me shit. I can't yeah. wait to get it again. Because at our age, you know, if we didn't have the shots, we'd probably be dead by now. Yeah. I yeah. never. I we luckily, we have not come down with COVID. Not going well. well, you know what? Uh, it's different for everybody. My neighbor just got it. He has the same symptoms I had. It just feels like a bad flu. Not even a bad flu. You know, a little flu, a little sweat, a little coughing, and uh, then I have a couple glasses of wine, go for a swim, I'm fine. It's Almost great. everybody I know has had it. You know. Yes, but yeah. it's a hip thing to do now. Is it really? Yeah. To get the vid, man, gotta get the vid. <laughs> gotta be with the yeah. It's like bell bottom pants. You gotta get them while they're cool because they're not gonna last. Long, you know? <laughs> Well, yeah. Maybe I better get it soon. Well, know? yeah, I just gotta get it over with already. What the hell? But you know, I, yeah. I, I, uh, I don't think I've had it. I don't have any of the symptoms, and uh, you know, I'm just, the, the worst thing that happens to me at this age. I'm starting to fall. Okay, I took. Uh, a, I, yeah, I, took, I do that occasionally myself. I, I'm only sixty-seven. I yeah. took a plot on the pavement up the street. I, mean, I just shut up my phone. Why is my fucking phone ringing? I have. I can't talk to you. I'm on the phone with Bennett. I'm, I'm doing some podcast. I'll call, I'll call you back. Yeah. Uh, why? I, I, okay, there you go. My phone says ringer off. It says <laughs> ringer off, and it's still ringing. Okay? So, I, so I, everything around this fucking house, you see that little thing? The yeah. ringer with the with the sign through it. Yeah. And it's still Rings. fucking ringing, my phone. Sorry, okay. Yeah, you know, you're getting to be an old, grouchy man. I, I've been an old grouchy man for a long time. I get it to me. I get it to me. You know, I bought this one pair of Skechers and my girlfriend says to me, uh, those are like an old man shoes. I say, oh, well, I'm an old man, you know? You know um, something? Those are great. I, got, I, I don't want to do a commercial here for Skechers. Why but, not? But I don't think I bought better sneakers in my life. Okay. No, you know, Howard Stern said the same thing. I heard him talk about it on his show. He loves them. And... Uh, and everybody, you know, a lot of people think they're either kids' sneakers or they're not hip because, you know, Michael Jordan doesn't wear them or they're not hip because, you know, everybody, you know, get the Kardashians don't plug them. But, you know, all these, you know, hipster, young douchebag people, and you know, but they're, they're great, you know. But, but you, um, want, you want to hear about old? You know what I did the other day? I can't wait to hear. I haven't done this, I think, ever in my life. I was sleeping... It, and I roll. I fell out of bed. I fell on the floor. I've never done that. Woke up and went, what the hell happened? And Marjorie is going, what went on over there? Because I heard this big thud. Wow. I literally rolled off and fell, boom, on the floor. And it took me five minutes to kind of regather my thoughts enough to get up and get back in the bed. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've never had that happen. Get back in the bed. That's life. That's life. So, I mean, you know, you and I, I remember years ago, you and I one night were, were at my place in San Francisco, sitting on the couch, uh -huh. doing endless lines of Coke. Okay? You remember those days? Yeah, I, mean, I never did that much, really. I don't think we did endless lines of Coke. Well, but, you know, well, well we were doing here. a lot of Coke, yeah. and you and I were bonding because we were chattering away about one thing and another, about the women in our life. I think you had one woman you were called Bozo the Crotch. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and because she had red hair. She, she, is, she left us, you know. Did she die? Yeah, she died uh, a few months ago of cancer. Yeah, she's gone. Really? Well, there's another yeah. one. Jeez. Yeah. How yeah, a lot, of people, a lot of people are going and dieting. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's happening. I remember when I first met you, I think, I don't know what station you were, it was probably Camel, KBL, before yeah. Quake, I think. But yeah. um, I, it was one or the other, I don't know. But it was, I remember giving you shit all the time, teasing you because you were so old. You were like 40. 
I kept calling you an old man. I remember, I remember you're 40, so Alex is 40, wow. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how old are you now? How old? 82. Wow, see it's scary being 67, but then you're 82 and then you gotta think like, if you want to bake potato, you have to stop and think, well, this could take an hour. I might not bake it that long. I might have something quicker. <laughs> and if I, if we can wait an hour for potato, I don't have that much time left. You know, maybe there's something, well, you know, some frozen microwave fries or something I could do now, instead. Now, now a, a potato takes a whole on a whole new meaning to me after that, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm right behind you, pal. So you know. Um, well, you but, know, um, I mean, it, it, it. But the thing I think that bothers me the most is when I hear about somebody I know dying. You know, when I heard about Saget dying, for instance. Right. You know, I'm going. Yeah. Oh, come on. You know, that isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. You, know, you know what? I did work actually. Um, 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 not just that Reno gig. I worked a couple of months ago with Gilbert, and uh, Gilbert's Gilbert's another one. Gilbert, I'm well, I was to. Yeah, I, I was trying to get back into stand up. I wanted to just to see if I could still do it because I'd have done it for a while and I wasn't really looking forward to it. And, uh, um, somebody called me up and said, You want to um, open for Gilbert in uh, uh, in uh, Vegas uh, for a night? And um, I said, Yeah, you know, I don't want to do more than 15, 20 minutes because I'm not sure I even remember how to do it. And it all came back to me. But, um, um, but yeah, he seemed to be okay. Um, I mean, Gilbert always, Gilbert never seemed like he was well. Gilbert never looked like, well, you look great, Gilbert. You sound terrific. You know, just spry and chipper and hopping along. Gilbert was never like, he always looked kind well, of. You know, you know, the thing is that Gilbert and I, were, we, were, we I, I knew him quite well. I mean, uh, we, every, we used to spend almost every, the night before New Year together because we had a mutual friend who would hold a party and then he and I would just go off in the corner and talk for an hour or two, you know? Right, he was, it, yeah, he was, yeah, you know, when he wasn't on, and he was just, you know, he it, knew, he was a very shy guy. Very well, shy guy, over. very intelligent, you know? Yeah, very smart, and very, very happy to do, uh, you know, popular culture is radio show and is he, great. He started a podcast, and the yeah. the last time we were together, he asked me. He said, "You have podcasts, right?" He said, "Right." He says, "How do you make money out of it?" I said, "You haven't made money out of yours yet. You're very popular." He says, "No, I haven't seen a penny." Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you yeah. know. But I mean, when I heard of uh, uh, of Gilbert going, I mean, that was a complete shock because I didn't even know he was sick. <clears throat> well, I didn't know either. I, I, I didn't know him that well, but uh, like I said, I worked with him, we had dinner, um, and he seemed fine, you know? Yeah. And uh, so, you know, um, that's why, I feel, when you asked me if I wanted to do a radio show, and I said, no, I told him, now if Alex dies soon, I'm yeah. feel really bad that you I feel, told him no. You feel real bad. <laughs> Now, if you die, it's not going to matter as much because I know right. why I did a right. stupid radio you know, well, show. I'm, I'm glad that I could ease your uh, your guilt. Uh, that, yeah, that certainly is important to me. But the thing is that that we just keep I, I keep losing people. I mean, people that you don't know, and you probably lose people that I don't know. You know that it's yeah. just and and I'm starting to measure my life by how many people are left. You know, and I I talk about best friends and people that I'm always in contact with, and that you know if something happens to me, they want to know what's going on and I maybe had I wasn't that much for getting friends I mean you would be more of a friend if I lived close to you right yeah that's why it's good you're not that close that's why it's good yeah. that most of my yeah. friends yeah. are either out of town or dead it's less people I have to go well, out no, with. I know that if I lived in, in LA and I called you up you would immediately say don't come over so you know I mean well uh, you wouldn't be alone I got a lot of people <laughs> when I've liked you I go no I don't want to have lunch but anyway no, I'm happy, I'm, so Why I, would I go out for lunch with you? I, I, you know, I'm sick of talking to people. You know, yeah. I have nothing to say. I, I had a friend, Bruce David, who was the editor of Hustler magazine, and one day right. he, he was like a best friend of mine. He drops dead. Okay, and then my friend Steve Gruberg. I don't know if you ever met him or. Uh, I remember him. Yes, Steve drop gets cancer and dies. Right. Okay. Right. So now I'm down to one friend left that I can talk to on a regular basis, and that's who my is that? Shecky. Over at the Letterman, oh. remember he's at the Letterman show. Yeah, I, I love Shecky. Tell him I said hello. Yeah, uh, and and I keep telling Shecky every time I see him, I said you better not die on me, otherwise I have nothing, no friends, you know. 
Yeah. Well, you know what? I uh, yeah, it's nice to have friends. I guess I just don't like to go anywhere with them. I'm, I'm going out with Pollock on Sunday night out to Rails for my birthday. Really? Okay. Yeah. My, uh, Mark Thompson and Kevin Pollock. Yes, I'll I've, tell him you said hello. I haven't talked to him for years. Tell him I said hello. You know. Well, why don't you get Pollock on your show? Somebody's well, working. I don't know how to get a hold of Pollock. You can easily get a hold of him if you want to. I'll I'll, t I'll tell him Sunday night. I'll give him your number when I see him. I'll tell him to call you. Okay, would you do that? Because I'd love to do a thing with Kevin. You know, he probably won't call you, but I'll tell. I'll I'll, I'll pass it on. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be happy to pass it on. Yeah, so, um, so let me uh, uh, forget about it. We have, really haven't talked about comedy except when you've wanted to talk about your career. But I never know, wanted to talk about it. I don't want to talk you're, about you're, it now. In the, in, the, in the last few times you've been out there, have you ever have you been threatened at all? No, because I never go any, I never perform at all. But So you weren't performing for what, the last two, three years, say, pre-COVID? Uh, two years ago... I started to practice a little. I had more than six months um, before COVID um, hit. I went with Bill Maher to Hawaii, him, me, mm -hmm. and Sarah Silverman. Yeah. And that was before COVID. So I worked a few nights, you know, at the improv just to practice because I had worked for six months before that. Right. And then after Bill Maher's show, which went great, we had a great time in Hawaii. Um, then I didn't work again for another <clears throat> year or two till I worked with Gilbert. Um, and uh, went to the improv once or twice in 20 minutes. Wow. Uh, and then I worked at Thinking Reno two weeks, three weeks ago. And uh, so, no, I haven't had any problems because I don't work that much. Yeah. I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't really done any shows. The oh, shows that I did with Gilbert, people were expecting kind of this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but I'm done now. I have no intention of ever going back to do stand up comedy. Unless, of course, Bill Moore wants to take me to Hawaii again, or, you know, I get a nice corporate gig in Reno for you know, right. $2,000. Right. You know, um, but I have no intention of doing it again. I don't miss it. How long and, How uh, long ago was it that you did the Gilbert gig? Oh, we did about two or three months ago. Two or three months ago. Did you feel when you got on stage you had to censor yourself? No, because we uh, it was called The Nasty Show. Okay. It was called Gilbert's. It was called Gilbert's Dirty Show. Gilbert and his dirty friends, or some some stupid thing like I that. I always uh, talk. I always talk about the most fun time I've ever had in my life was sitting at the Pierre Hotel having high tea with Gilbert and Penn Jillette yeah, and, a couple, and, a, and, and, and a couple yeah. of other people. And then the two of them started telling jokes. One would do one, then one would try and top it. Then the other one would do one, and another one would top it. This went on for an hour, and I swear to you, after it was through, it was the funniest moment I've ever had in my life. I mean, yeah, those guys are great. I mean, especially Gilbert. Gilbert uh, had a lexicon of filthy, dirty jokes <laughs> that, you know, uh, uh -huh. he, he's, he was a compendium of that. Yes, well, that's why things went so well in uh, Vegas because people were coming to see that. Some few people came to see me, and I mean, you know, it was, it was a uh, Thea Vidal was on the show. It was, it was just great, it was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. But I, I had, you know, and it, the show was kick ass, but I had no desire to do it again. So it, I'm it, done. It, 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 isn't there? Is there something about you that maybe the thrill of performing has died? Yeah, I've just done it too many times for too long, and it was, you know, it's not, it felt a long time ago. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, and I just lost the will to write, and the audiences have changed, and, you know, I, it's great that some people still love it. You know, Lewis Black, and, you know, certainly Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno, oh, don't, they love. these people, they, don't, yeah. they love it. They don't need the money, but they do it because they love it, you know? But Seinfeld um, especially loves comedy, and he loves... Well, obviously, he's, He's one of the richest men, you know. Yeah. He's a billionaire now, so it's certainly not about money for Jerry. It's, he loves doing it. No, he loves doing comedy. That's it. Right. Plain and simple. That's right. I loved it for a long time. And you know what? If I was making Jerry Seinfeld money and I, you know, you have to really want to write material and I don't really want to write material anymore. And I'm just tired of the whole thing. You, you, know, know, you know what I you heard? Stay in, you know what yeah. I heard the other day? That David Letterman, who does I think it's like six episodes for Netflix maybe eight episodes for Netflix a year right, right makes as much money doing those eight episodes 
as CBS paid him to do an entire year. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, I mean it does surprise that's me. Somewhere but it around thirty million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. And that's great. I you know, I I I'm more power to these people. You yeah. know, I probably would love comedy and acting if actually acting I don't I don't even go out to well, interest stuff. Tell you, I hate acting I'll tell you more what, than I'll tell you what grieves me a little bit when you talk about not doing the business, not wanting to get back in. Is it's kind of like if somebody had told me in the old days, Yasha Heifetz has given up playing the violin. You know, that yeah, I a, get that comparison a lot. Yeah, a great virtuoso, a a great virtuoso has decided not to pick his instrument up anymore. Right. You know. Right. And well, that, and that grieves me because I, I, you know, I, you know how much I appreciated you as a comic. When, well, you know what? It, it's my day has passed, and the, the stuff I was doing was. Yeah, young people, young kids, and you know, to be honest with you, I don't even want to do that kind of material. No, I, just, I don't even want to think. I'm sick of it. So I, whatever. I just saw a documentary that Judd Apatow did on George Carlin. Yeah, I'm going to watch it this I'm weekend. Yeah. It. And and it's amazing how many times Carlin reinvented himself, had to reinvent yeah. himself. You right. Know, first, he was the you know the clean comic who went on Sullivan right. and did the clean. Then he then he dirtied right. up his act and he he became the hippie comic. And then right. when, when the when that whole thing passed, he didn't know where to go next. So then he went to HBO and did these one man shows and became another sensation. In other words, he constantly reinvented himself to keep himself in the game. Well, he he obviously he loved it too because I would see George on a. <laughs> it's funny, I ran into him at least three, four times. You know, we were both flying back from wherever, Dallas or New York. And I'd always see him on the plane, and he'd always say hello, very nice guy. And then he would literally just sit in his seat and, you know, work on material for hours. And then um, I remember I was playing him once in Tahoe at Caesars, I think, and he was at Harris. And I said to his opening act, hey, we're going out for dinner. I guess you should invite George. He goes, George never leaves his room. He's got his exercise bike. He just stays in the room, and works on material. So there's another guy who actually, you know, curmudgeonly man, but obviously but he never, loved he, what he, he did. Yeah, he never got out of the business. He loved it, you know. Right. And there are certain people who just love doing comedy, as I say, yeah, Seinfeld. Well, that's great. And, and, but you seem Good. to have lost that love of doing it. No, I've lost my love for doing anything. I think, you, know, you know what the problem was? You were what we called a road warrior. You were, out, God, you, you were on the road every day of the week. Okay? It was brutal. One, mo yeah, brutal. And one hotel after another. One airplane brutal. seat after another. And flying coach and doing horrible morning radio and drunken idiots in was, was, you know, was, Texas and Mississippi or whatever fucking redneck horrible piece of shit state and bachelorette parties and fraternities and assholes and, and just and the, and the whole thing. There were just too many loaded with douchebags and uh, <laughs> you know was most most of the shows went fine but then yeah I just have so many drunks a second show on Friday night sometimes a third show on Saturday night uh, oh, it was I, just I, I never awful. got the feeling though that you minded doing my show I know it was fine most of the time I just you know sometimes you know have to stay up at night drinking and doing a show it's hard to get up the next morning and mm -hmm. you know do radio um, I you know it was a long, the whole process. It, I mean, it was fun for a while. It had its ups and downs. I mean, it paid for this beautiful home I'm living in and put my daughter to school. And, you know, it's, it's, you know. Okay, I want to I, I want to ask you a question yeah. that has nothing to do with any of this, okay? The other day uh -huh. when I was trying to do this, we've had to do this three times, but finally we found out it works on your iPhone. So that we know, okay. But we'll never have to do it again because you're never going to do another interview ever again. No, no more interviews. My last one. Okay, your last. I'm the last one, right? Probably. Yeah. If I hear yeah. of you doing another, I'm calling you to see if you want to do one. All right, let's get this over with. I got you know today. I got to go swimming. No, but here's I what got, I want to ask work you. Out. When huh? I when I asked you to do the show. You mm -hmm. said, "Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I have a, a appointment with my urologist." Uh huh. Okay. And uh, then uh, you waited in the urologist's office forever, and you had to write uh -huh. me and tell me I might be late for the interview. And then we right. had some problems with it, and we had to redo it now. Uh, what? What? It, it, and it's just a, it's a strange question because I had prostate cancer. 
Uh-huh. Okay. And I got the radiation and I got the seeds put in and I'm I'm good to go. All right? Right. You uh-huh. probably have to put up with me calling you, begging you to do interviews for the next 10 years. All right? Uh-huh. Hopefully. Right. Crack on wood. What did you go to the urologist for? It's a checkup. Huh? Just a checkup because my PSA is always so high. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right. Well, not high. Like 5.3. Oh, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, but they're steady. He goes, why do a biopsy? I said, no, not really. He said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, they did a so biopsy fine. on me and they found some cancer and they sent me over to Mount Sinai to this doctor who, who put seeds in your radioactive seeds in your prostate. And he did a radiation thing with me first, and then he put those in. And uh, the fun part about it is he's the same guy who 20 years ago put radioactive seeds in Rudy Giuliani. Wow. So I'm just hoping that I have the same luck Rudy Giuliani had with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, so listen. that's what I was just a regular old fucking checkup. Okay, so what's, um, the, what's the rest of your day today? Well, you've already taken up a good portion of it, so oh, yeah. the day's already fucked oh, up. Oh, we're um, going to do another hour here, you know. So, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, um, I want to go, I'm going to go to my girlfriend's house and go swimming right now because my pool is too, uh, is too big and cold. I can't heat it. You know, it's global warming. It's nice during the day that it goes, it's freezing at night, so it's costing me a fortune, so I, I, I just go to her I, house and I, swim. I, I imagine your pool to be a bac- bacteriological Petri dish. Why is that? Uh, just a bunch of germs and everything in it. Yeah. Well, considering nobody go, hasn't been in it for, you know, I heated it last month, and then it gets freezing, and, you know, and then, you, and then, and then you know, the water we're getting, you know, the water shortage, it's a big pain. They and then how much does it, how much, uh, oh, he just lost, just pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, 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 how, how much does it cost you to heat that pool? If I heat it, it'd probably 500 a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. But in the in the summertime when it's warm at night, I only have to heat it for a few minutes, you know, every day or once a week. But now it's so big and so deep uh, that I can't. Uh, um, I just can't afford to heat it all the time. You know, so I'm, just, you know, shit going on. You know, now we're going to get fined for water, and I have a gorgeous gardens. My, my my girlfriend calls my house the botanical gardens. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the rest of the day I'm going to go. Uh, uh, plant the cactus to try not to hurt myself because those things are a bitch to plant yeah. and uh, and then um, I'm going to go to her swimming and then I'm going to go to the great new pizza place for dinner for my birthday and uh, I got to go do my workout I'm going to go try to play my drums for a few minutes and uh, I get a lot of shit every day I'm happily retired I get stuff to do every day well you're the highlight day, you're the highlight of my day that's how sad is that that's pathetic it's just right, pathetic, pathetic. Uh, anyway, I want to thank you for this, Bobby. I know how much it pains you to do it, and certainly it, it, it was difficult, wasn't it? Yes. It was very, every moment. Well, it's, of, not, it's, not, it's not difficult talking to you. I just know it's a beautiful day, and uh, I know since I'm retired, I can go outside every day. It's not like it's not like I have one day off. Yeah, you know? today um, is not any, any day more special than tomorrow. Except no, it, as, probably, long as, you, as long as you're above room temperature. You know, right. that's all the that matters. Right. You know, right, and everything's fine. Um, yeah, I, I told you I don't want to do this. I have nothing to talk about, and I, we have nothing to talk about. I'm talking about heating my pool and and, and a prostate we, examination. We that talked, was a highlight of our conversation. We talked about a lot of things, believe it or not. I I consider any time I talk to you worthwhile. Great. Well, um, yeah. Uh, thanks. Um, <laughs> you know, and the wonderful part about it is you're very funny today without doing any material. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to be funny. Well, I mean, a lot of times when I used to interview you, you had material because you were working on material, so you've tried it out on my audience or on the radio yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know. But this and by the way, I'm talking to you with my hearing aids. That's another pleasure of getting old. That, I knew I was going deaf for a long time, and uh, you know, you always think it's not going to happen to you, but you know, when I'm working out, I blast my Walkman, my iPod, and, yeah. and, and blast, I still do it. And then... Uh, you know, I blast it while I play the drums. By the way, when I say play the drums, I bang the drums. I'm certainly not a drummer. Well, all I got two. Yeah, I got two gorgeous sets of drums, and I sit and play for about 10, 15 minutes a day, and then throw down the sticks in disgust um, uh, because I'm so bad. But you know, I guess the only way to get good is to play more than 
10 or 15 minutes a day. But I have no patience for anything. Um, well, but anyway, so, you know, that's why I'm, so I'm deaf. My girlfriend's thrilled I have these things. I got to say, it does help me watch TV. It's, it's good for television. So that's, you know, that's, good that's about great. I, I luckily, after all these years of having worn earphones and, you know, done things with listening, so I know my hearing's damn good. You know. It's so funny. Gilbert Gottfried had hearing aids. He told me he never wears them unless his wife said, don't tell me he wears them is when he's watching television. Well, he didn't need hearing aids to hear himself. Right, yeah. right, Exa yeah, right, exactly. Um, but my wife, but yeah, I my wife is, is now when on TV, she has me turn on the closed captions. Oh, I have that too. I have the hearing aids and closed captions. Yeah. I like closed captions. I like having them both. Yeah, you like you know both. you're getting old, folks, when you need closed caption. I like that. Anyway, okay, well, great. I hope hey, this was very Bobby, entertaining this is terrific. And let's you and I talk anyway, not having anything to do with... Uh, with doing an interview on this program, okay? Okay, yeah, well, call me anytime. Ladies, right? ladies and gentlemen, doing nothing in retirement, now 67 years old, as of today. It's oh, lovely and attractive, an old friend of mine and I, one of the friendships I really value, you know? No, well, well, that's sad, but okay. Well, uh, that shows how few friends I have. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Well, I have to do my setups now. I have to work off the pastrami sandwich I had for breakfast. All right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Talk Bobby to Slayton. Bye-bye. Uh, Talk to Mike. See you, pal. This is Gavnet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. And uh, let's see here. Uh, is there anybody trying? No, no, nobody's trying to call in. All right. Okay. That's all right with me. All right. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There is somebody out there. There is Jeff Stein. Uh, let me just bring Jeff Stein in so that uh, we uh, we have him there. I don't want him to have to sit out there all by himself when nobody else is calling. Uh, let me see here. Let's go to the Zoom panel. There we go. There's uh, there's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Oh, wait a minute. He's got, uh, there you go. You're okay. The button. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Hello. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're it. You're my only. Well, man. You're my only caller. You well, know? this is, this is the the group. Yeah, this is the group. Uh, you know, I I don't I can go as short as I want to tonight, or or as long as I want to because mm -hmm. again, Jack Bishop isn't going to be doing a show tonight because <clears> he's still in the hospital. Uh, he he hasn't got anything life threatening, but uh, there are problems that he has with uh, standing up. <laughs> so it's it's not uh, he but I don't want to say what's happening he's he should tell his audience but I just want you to know he's okay I talked to him earlier today and he's uh, he's doing just fine um, but anyway uh, I just I bring you on because I'm gonna I just have a few things I want to talk about and if if we don't get any other people I'll just call it quits early tonight you know yeah. you know I can do that uh, uh, last night's program I don't know about you but I uh, there were certain elements of it I was disappointed with I was disappointed because I just can't believe there's a singular human being in the United States of America who doesn't realize that we have all have a responsibility to solve this problem about guns in America it's just gotten out of hand Okay, and what's going to happen is we just had uh, what? How many kids was it? Uh, uh, Nineteen kids, two mm -hmm. adults killed, and a grandmother. So that's twenty-two people who got killed. All right, and we're all going around saying how horrible that is, and all the TV stations are doing wall-to-wall -wall coverage about this thing, and we got to do something about it, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. And uh, you know, places like MSNBC are turning it into a, uh, uh, it, it, well, into an audience-getting deal, you know. And uh, I, it, it, so we're going to go through this whole thing right now, where we're going to go into the, oh, we're so sorry that this is happening, and this shouldn't happen, and isn't it horrible, and whatever. And then about a week from now, we'll forget it, and it'll be back to business as usual until the next thing happens. Yeah. You know, well, I got a call mm -hmm. uh, that I call I, uh, on 
on the uh, on the computer today, mm-hmm. or maybe it was on TV. Yeah, from the guy in Connecticut, who's twelve year, ten year old girl got killed. Remember, this was like a couple of years ago. Was this up in uh, up in what do you call it, town? Uh, yeah. Uh, What's it called, baby? Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Yeah. You got a call from him? Yeah, that he was ad, not personally to me, but it was an ad type of thing. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And he was trying to get some money um, to help work on this stuff. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so we sent them some money. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I came up with an I Hello, Phil. But I heard his his um, presentation, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I I was ready to cry. Well, he lost. Uh, so he, he lost not a not a not a, 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 a chi- he lost a child. He yeah, lost a, a baby. A gorgeous looking yeah. two year old girl. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who six year old. Six year old had to be six. Had to be somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I mean it's 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 it, it's god awful, uh, and uh, I don't know. You know, last night I I was very conflicted when I got off the air because, Phil, you were a bad boy last night. I just disagreed with no, you. you and weren't I had my own you were, opinion. You, you were the, I, the reason I called tonight was uh, you didn't have any callers, and I really enjoyed your Bobby interview. Yeah, and uh, so I figured, uh, you know, I, I didn't want you to sit and suffer. Well, I'm not going to sit and suffer. I think eventually we'll get somebody. But thank you very much, Phil. I appreciate it. It's my but pleasure. I, you know, it wasn't a matter of, of uh, you. You just were spreading a lot of wrong information. Uh, I think there's half the country that feels the way no, I do. No, you're, no, no. 88% of Americans believe we have to do something about this. Oh, I think we have to do something about uh, yeah. school security, mental no, health. No, wait a minute. Hold like on. That. They were doing, they did something about school security at that school. Yeah, they, they waited an hour no, before they No, 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 Phil. They had a whole department in that school district that dealt with this sort of thing, four of which were armed police. That could be dispatched. They had, they had all the things. They had rules in that school about only one door had to be open, which I think is kind of a stupid idea because if you only have one door open, where are all the kids going to run out of if something's going on? Do you know where the shooter made access in that school? The side door. Right. It wasn't the door that was no, supposed to be open. No, but what I'm saying is, is you, you were suggesting that we... Uh, we, uh, you know, have one entrance, one exit. And that's a bad idea. Because if somebody well, goes in there and starts shooting, you pretty well got those kids penned in there. Let's not well, get at, into this again. No, I'm no, going to get upset. At the, uh, let me explain the one entrance thing. No, uh, for no, instance, no. at a police department, there's something called a sally port. I don't give a what? shit what goes on at a police department. This is a, high, this is a grade school for kids. You know? Well, it's, it's, it's the way you do security to make sure that everybody inside is safe. So the, the, you, you pull in, for instance, with the car, and uh, you pull into the sally port, and then the gate closes, and there's another gate. So once you're in there, you can't m- get into the main area until everybody's been cleared, and then they open that second door, and people go in. So you, you, can, you can trap uh, someone that you don't want inside in this sally port area and i don't know why they call it a sally port but that's that's what it is oh and so we got to make it like police departments we got to make it like prisons uh yeah it, and it, uh, our society oh, our, has our gotten society. to the point yeah, yeah. where yeah. we uh, the only way we can protect our children our is society to, has to gotten to the point where 19 kids can get killed and congress does nothing about it well we'll but, see what congress does but i don't I don't agree with you that gun, taking guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens is you, the way you know, to do it. Do you know what this uh, uh, Glenn, Ab- uh, Glenn Abbott said, Greg Abbott said yesterday? That was so stupid. It was just so stupid. He, uh, he said, well, you know something? Uh, the, the laws I passed wasn't supposed to protect an 18-year-old kid from being able to get guns. And the fact is, the law he passed 
made it very easy for him to get guns. He didn't have to do anything. He just had to go there and say, I want to buy a gun. Thank you. Here it is. Well, you know, that that has been challenged. Uh, you know, uh, the I believe it was the Supreme Court dealt with 18 year olds and guns. There was a law that said you had to be 21. And uh, I believe that was overturned uh, recently uh, by the Supreme Court. Oh, and yeah. Uh, and they're saying that that's not constitutional. Now, uh, who am I to, okay. well, to you're, say? You're monopolizing the conversation again tonight, you know. I All right. Mean, hey, no. you got other callers. No, no, I, I no, can go no, back no, watching no, TV. You're you fine being here. It's just no. that, you know, you, you keep coming out with the same old trope. And the fact you is that what you're saying is wholly wrong. That the solution, yeah. you know, of the solution that we have to do something uh, with uh, with uh, these uh, schools and making sure there's an armed guard there. Listen, there was an armed guard at that school down in Florida. Okay, what did that he didn't do? Win either. Well, no, but I'm saying you you had that down there. There have been all in a lot of the schools that have had shootings now. They've actually had an armed presence on site, and the kids still got killed. I I I get it. It's just that I stand up and no, you don't I'm, get it I'm, phil you do well not I, I i sit in a synagogue uh oh, on don't high give, holy don't days don't give me that fucking not, thing about i, I do that damn... in order for people to be able to pray in peace uh, well they could pray in peace anyway even if you weren't there uh well maybe or maybe not it, the same thing could have happened to this chabad that i help out as as it did in this school so, hey, I, I don't want to monopolize your no, conversation. No, no, I'm, not saying, but, I'm not saying that. You know, oh, look, we still don't have many people here. You know. Yeah, well, you, you already yelled at me for monopolizing. Well, so, last, uh, last night you were a little too in the, you know, every time somebody said something, then you had to say something. You felt you had to say something. Uh, yeah, but it, it was one, one, one against seven, you know. Well, if you perceive it as that way, it doesn't have to be one against seven. It can be eight all on the same side, but you don't want to seem to do it that way. Well, it was seven and a half. Well, yeah, of course not. <laughs> it was seven and a half because Alan counts as one and a half. Oh, does he really? Alan, yeah. are you out there? Yeah, look at the size of Alan. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's it's just that, that, you know, we're beginning to find out, for instance, that... Uh, uh, first, the police department down there said, oh, well, there was a cop there and that he did confront the guy. And then today they said, well, no, there wasn't. You know? uh, matter of fact, there was a ton of police there. They took a perimeter position and nobody made entry for an hour. This kid, this crazy out kid was in there killing people, allowing children to bleed out for a full hour before the cops made entry. Yeah, but no, I, it, look, you know, here's the thing, okay? If you're going to take the position, as Greg Abbott does, about, well, we have to fortify our schools and we have to do this and we have to do that, then what have you done about it? Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Okay? Well, that, that's, the, that's the problem. Absolute zero. And, and if you haven't done anything about it, don't sit around saying that this is going to be the solution to the problem because you aren't solving it. But I have done something about it. It doesn't have to be in a school. It happens to be in a Chabad. Oh, God. Don't and, give me and that Chabad again. Just leave it alone. But you're saying I don't do anything about it. No, I didn't. I, I am standing up and doing the right thing. I am protecting people. And I'm not getting paid for it. I do it because it's the right well, thing to God do. God bless you, Phil. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're I, I put my life on the line as, as hmm. someone that would encounter... Uh, a bad guy I'll tell you what, on, okay, on, on the okay. front line. Okay, here's here's what I was thinking today we got to do. Uh, I, I wish that I had, I was still on the air, I still had a platform, I still had a, a, a bully pulpit, as it were. And what I would do is I'm sick and tired of all these guys in Washington, D.C., who are voting the way they vote about, say, guns, because of people who are paying the bills for them uh, and they don't want to upset them. So they don't want to lose all that money for their campaigns and things like that. Well, my feeling is we should go out and find a couple of billionaires who are really committed and get a chunk of money from them, like a billion each, and then go down to Washington and say, here's the money, start doing stuff for us. 
you yeah. know, and and go, and say, hey, the NRA doesn't have this kind of bucks. You want these kind of bucks for your campaign? You vote the way we want you to. You know, but what's happening is the money is talking. It's it, all these guys are in the pocket of the NRA. I mean, you got well, who's speaking this weekend at the convention in uh, in uh, in Houston? Trump uh, you, and you, uh, you got you got Ted Trump, Cruz, Ted Cruz, and Greg uh, Abbott. Yeah, yeah. Alan, uh, no, I, I I came in at the right time. I guess the NRA is not very powerful right now. The guy that was in charge, Alex uh, Lapierre, or something like that, almost Wayne, bankrupt. Wayne Lapierre. Oh, yeah, Wayne Lapierre. He almost bankrupted him. <laughs> They had to move from New York to Texas, and so they're not very powerful right now. But no, but but Alan West, Alan West is forget about against, Alan West. Let Alan, but he's uh, running uh, against obvi Wayne. Obviously, uh, obviously, uh, Ted Cruz yeah. is sucking their dick anyway. Yeah, you yeah. know what, what would be what would be the difference between these people actually believing that this is the right thing to do and not just getting money for it? You. You say that they're getting money and they're being bought off, and that's why they're taking that position. They don't think it's Anybody the right like me. Yeah. Nobody has paid me, but I, I believe in that position. And, 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 I it, and, and, it's money. A, and it's a wrong position to have, Phil. Well, that's your opinion. I mean, you saw 19 kids killed. Didn't you want to say to yourself, well, maybe we got to do something about this? Yeah. You know? And I have. Like, maybe my, not sell, not to, to begin with, just ban selling assault rifles. You know, it's yeah, well. You agree still agree on you still got, because I believe it's mental illness. And, it may you know, be but, mental illness, folk, uh, uh, Phil, but it's mental illness on the part of Greg Abbott, who's crazed. He's nuts. You know, Donald Donald Trump, really. a guy, a guy who literally was sitting there cheering on the crowd when they said "Hang Pence." Uh, you know. You know, if, if, if Abbott changed to being a Democrat, all of a sudden Phil would not be interested in the guy defending him. No, you don't, I, you're not I, defending Greg Abbott. I am not defending Greg Abbott. I am no, defending okay. my position on guns. Okay. Well, you know, you got another guy here who likes his guns. His name is yep. Alan. And That's Alan cool. takes an opinion absolutely the opposite of yours. I don't no. think so. Not, 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 not the opposite. I just don't like Greg Abbott. I don't like what he said in the past couple of days about the shooting. And, you know, I haven't heard Trump or DeSantis or any of the we other. We haven't had a, heard a word from Trump on this. Haven't heard a word from him. He's probably oh, taken no. the low road and it's probably smart for him because he can stick his foot in his mouth real easily. And if, you know, and so what, he's not, he's not the president. He's, he may run. Yeah. But getting involved in this, why even say anything at all? Uh, Matt, uh, you've had uh, 24 hours to think about this. Uh, yeah. Um, the whole thing is, is so infuriating to me. I, 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 can't, um, I can't even tell you, but the, 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 the idea they keep pushing this thing of we got to get all the retirees out there. What makes them think that any of those retirees want to go out there and the Rambo, you know, I, it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't think that's what he said yesterday. No, they keep saying uh, on Fox News and all that garbage. Oh. They keep saying, "Oh, we want to." I say we got to get those retirees out there and get them in the schools. One hundred and thirty thousand of them. Yeah, because if we lose one it's, of, if we lose, start. if we lose one of them, they're going to go soon anyway. Look, whether you get retirees, whether you get unemployed, returning Iraqi veterans. Uh, oh, it's okay. a start. Okay. I mean, uh, yep. it, not not all the Phil, schools. Maybe are the at risk. maybe the start is to start at the beginning, which is limiting who can get their hands on these weapons. Okay, I, that's I'm for all starters. For that. Wait a minute, that's for starters. Secondly, for mental health is certainly very important. But the matter of fact is that there's something sick in this society. You know, we're the only nation in the world that has this problem. The and you only know why? one in Australia, they had a mass killing. They just clamped down on guns. They haven't oh. had another mass killing in 20 years, I think it is. In Australia, in, in they... Scotland, the same thing happened. They shut them all down. There hasn't been another mass event in Scotland. 
You know why millions of people are trying to get into this country by any means possible? Because of the freedoms that we have. Oh, I see. And, what and, freedoms? And the Phil? Second Amendment what, what, is fuck. one of those freedoms. No. Oh, oh, that's not a freedom. That's oh, not a freedom. Not that, to you. That, no, that's not a freedom. You know, you're living in, in, in an area of the country that's one of the most draconian areas when it comes to owning a gun or possessing a gun. You're not allowed to possess a gun in New York City. And why do you have the highest I gun think, I think you're, I think it's you're, I think, soft, I think you're a, wrong, Phil. I think that no, law, the, it's so, a soft that was, target. That was the Sullivan Law, and I think right. it was done 68. away. With, it was done away with years ago. Yes, but right now, if uh, I have a friend that spent three years in prison because he, he there was a home invasion in his home uh, on 73rd and 3rd, and what happened was uh, his bodyguard wasn't there. And, but his bodyguard's gun was there. He thwarted the home invasion and uh, then uh, showed the police the videotapes of his security camera. He was arrested because he was in possession of mm -hmm. a gun that wasn't registered to him. Mm -hmm. And that's a three, three year mandatory sentence. Wait a minute. What did you just say? Come on. He was in possession it, it, of, of a gun, gun that was, wasn't registered to. It was registered to his it, bodyguard. Isn't that illegal? Uh, in New York, it's, so it's you, you can't I think, it's I think it's illegal in a lot of places. No, you, you no. In New York, you have to have special registration to even have touch a gun. You can't even touch it. You even it's have not, it in your house. Yeah, you can't even have it in your house. And so he saved his life. He thwarted a home invasion and spent three years in prison. Be, uh, because uh, of of him defending himself, that's what happens in New York if you try to a law-abiding citizen possesses a gun. Thank God. Now, yeah. So uh, that means that the criminals can uh, oh, run yeah. uh, yeah. roughshod yeah. over right. law-abiding citizens. They, they, if you make guns illegal, only the criminals will have guns. Yes, I, they will. I remember that that little trope. Well, it's ne true. Never was true on it on its face value. Charlene, how you feeling tonight? Oh, God, I have everyone asking me if I'm sick, and I'm not. It's not COVID. <laughs> it's just, well, thank just, God for that. We've had, I, we, we've had some really harsh uh, hay fever around here. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's terrible. I'm going to try to get something. It's funny, if you, if you have hay fever these days, everybody doesn't want to see, see you because they think you've got COVID. I know, it's know. awful. Um, I took a COVID test tonight. One of my employees came down with covid a day before yesterday yeah so i waited a couple of days i hadn't had much contact with them yeah and uh this this was the test it is neutral i do not have COVID. i am not the father you need to, you need to <laughs> wait five days if you're not having symptoms but that's what i want charlotte i got another one heard, have you ever heard of this stuff it, 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 it's, yeah it, it's basically flonase it's the generic have, one i've got flonase yeah. you gotta use it before hay fever season starts a couple of weeks and keep using it all through hay fever. It made a remarkable By difference the way, for don't me don't buy fever. don't buy Flonase. I'll tell you why, because it's gonna cost you about thirty five bucks. Okay. If you, you go if you go you? if you go over to They're Costco, brand. if you go over to Costco right. and right. I, I have go. a bottle of it here somewhere, where is it? Yeah, you get like uh, a five pack for like uh, thirty bucks. Get, uh, uh, this is my prescription. It cost me three dollars. It's called Al Aller. Yeah, it's Aller the same Flo, stuff. I think. It's exactly the same stuff yeah, under, under uh, Costco. Uh, it's uh, it's the same thing as uh, as as Flonase. Because of COVID, it's like it's bad enough that you're miserable with these allergies and hay fever and the sneezing mm -hmm. and the you know. Yep. And then you got to go out nowadays, and everyone is like, "You're not sick, are you?" I had the woman in the dentist office say that. After they took my temperature and everything, and I said, "No, I'm not." I said, "And I had all my boosters." I I said, "I had four shots already." Charlene, do you ever try uh, uh, D? Uh, what's what's the pill? The um, um, uh, oh, you interrupted her to ask her what the pill is. Shame well, I, I asked. I was going to ask her. If she tried this pill, and I now I just forgot the name Isn't of the pill. Real good? Like Benadryl dries you up or something. Well, it's it's not Benadryl. It's um, uh, it, it'll come back to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I mean, this stuff is pretty good, but I find that if you, the more you use it, the less effective it is. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. But it's uh, if you I use it year uh, round. If you use Flonase, you know, Flonase has a certain mm -hmm. little smell to it. 
This has the same smell. It's the same I stuff. I love it. I love it. It makes it. Yes. What I won't about say the book, that. So, Alex. What? Like, you know, you heard that. I mean, you know, people are starting to tell me about monkeypox now. Yep. And I'm, a a Claritin D. Claritin oh, D. Right, right. I have Zyrtec or something. The same yeah. thing. Zyrtec is better. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Monkeypox is only spread through sexual contact. I understand. No, totally no, true. no, no. Totally not. It's totally true. not true. You're well, wrong. I didn't think, then I figured I'd never get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, monkeypox uh, is it's not pretty, but you know, I don't know how much of a problem it is. Come well, on, we're gonna you know. we'll find out. Time will tell. Yeah, oh, we, I, just what we need. I, another I, another thing coming to get us. Hi, Ray. You know the thing. The thing with monkeypox, Alex, is we have the vaccine already for Hello. it. Hello. Yeah. I, uh, it, it, it the same vaccine that, that prevents you from getting um, uh, HIV, I think that uh, pox. What's the pox? Smallpox uh, works to get monkeypox. If you get a smallpox vaccine, mm -hmm. it's eighty-five percent effective against monkeypox. Okay. Like if I look that up in the dictionary, does that mean like you know smallpox, monkeypox? They're very closely related, Shirley. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the way they know that this vaccine works is because monkeypox is, it's come in this country and other countries for a few cases here and there. Mm -hmm. But in Africa and West Africa, it, it it's rampant. And oh. so they know that giving people injections for the smallpox vaccine keeps you about 85% effective. And the vaccine's been on the market for years. And so the only people in this country that won't get them are probably the Republicans. Yeah, right. you know they, don't believe, you, you, they don't believe in medicine. You know what this whole, whole thing with the gun thing and and COVID and stuff like that has has taken us away from and taken our eye off the ball of a very important thing going on in our country right now. And I and I really think that we we have to really change our priorities and get back to basics. How many here are watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? Clips. Clips. <laughs> just clips. Yeah. I can't. I watched it. her today. Ridiculous. I watched her today testify. She went back on the stand figuring one more time might be the charm for her. Wrong. It, now we know why she can't get a job in the next uh, uh, Aquaman movie. Because she's a lousy goddamn actress. She, on the I thought stand. it was because she couldn't swim. <laughs> no. It was horrible. She was doing... Of this act and it was just it was excruciatingly bad you know it's horrible huh she's one of, horrible yeah. one of depp's other girlfriends from the late 90s yeah. uh, an actress What's i her forgot name? her name yeah. cute you know, good look she says oh he he was so nice i fell down he helped me uh and well and, she and, and what it was is she said that uh who who uh, to the model um yeah kelly something no, no, or not kelly something no uh, he was married to a supermodel for a long time no that was another oh, supermodel the, the, yeah. what well they said kelly i'm thinking lebron uh, I, I can't remember the woman's name she blonde she was cute we'll call her claritin for right now yeah well, anyway I, I anyway she got on the stand <laughs> yesterday and said that uh, see what happened is Amber on the stand said that this woman had been thrown down a flight of stairs by right. Johnny. At least those were the rumors. And um, uh, she, this woman got on the stand. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember her name now. I knew it really well. Yeah, I can't remember it either. Uh, and and just said, no, no <laughs> such thing ever happened. I did fall down a flight of stairs as we were because it was raining and the stairs were wet and I slipped and I fell. And he came turning around, came back, rushed back, picked me up, took me upstairs and put me in bed to make sure I was okay, you know. And uh, I went, hey, what, what a nice guy. Kate Moss. Kate Moss. Kate Moss. Yeah. Kate Moss. He was with her for a long time. Kate Moss. Yeah. Kate Moss. And, I mean, and it's got to say something about him that somebody who's his ex-girlfriend was willing to testify on his behalf, you know. Very nice. So apparently, well, this Amber lady, this Amber lady is an actress. Yeah. Well, uh, you says, wouldn't know it to what's watch. She, what's she been Can't in? She tell by Aquaman. She's trying. She, oh, tell. she's an Aquaman. She, she's been in Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, she she well, been uh, been uh, she was in Aquaman. Yeah. Okay. She was a in bunch of couple stuff. other things. Yeah. She, she's uh, been. I'll, she's I'll been do her a, IMDb. But but she's kind of I you know I mean he referred to her as this and I think it was true as a gold digger 
-hmm. and and uh, I you know uh, come on you're going with Johnny you went with jo you married Johnny Depp and just before that you were going with uh, Elon Musk come on what 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 doesn't yeah. seem right here you, you know? know the funny thing is most women would take her side but I've asked a lot of all my women friends and they're like nope she's acting it's 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 a horrible oh, my wife job. my wife uh, Marjorie is completely yeah. on on Depp's side yeah, you so know, so am I. Because what you this see is, there is this psycho woman. You know, yeah. who takes who makes recordings of everything in your life? Nobody. Yeah. Who who's Nobody. making secret recordings of fights you're having with your husband if you haven't got a reason to do it, you know? Right. Like a right. payday yep. later on down the line. And then somehow magically when the actual abuse occurred, she never got that on tape. Yeah, right. Yeah, and and the next day she would show up someplace with a bruise, but they then the next day it magically disappeared. Yeah, you know modern makeup, moulage. her yeah. makeup man. <clears throat> I mean, it, 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 but it, it the, I, there's something about that trial that has really captured America. Okay. Yeah, kind of like the O.J. Simpson trial. I have a question: Why is it on television? It's not, it's not really on television. It's on uh, oh. on the internet. It's being oh. streamed. Depp, you know, allowed that, they say. You know, no one can understand why, because it's so embarrassing to him. Exactly. Make... Well, I don't think Well, he is. wants to clear his name, right? I don't think, uh... I don't think it, it's embarrassing to him. I think it's actually, actually going to resurrect his career, because yeah, he his comes career was pretty much over. Well, he comes across as being a fairly nice guy, you know? Right. Right. Uh, and, and so he's... He's changing his image. I think he's going to get work because of this. I don't Are think she'll. about I, Johnny Depp or Phil Meyer? Johnny. What about Kevin Spacey? Well, that's uh, the latest one, isn't it? Oh Jesus, <laughs> man! That uh, is just a disaster. Well, you may remember the last case that they charged him with here in the United States was dropped, okay, but for insufficient evidence. Uh, so now the British figure, well, two times is the charm, and they just nailed him with three. Uh, three counts. Three uh, so Amber people. Heard was in North Country. Uh, syrup? I never heard of this. Drive Angry, The Joneses, Never Back Down, yeah. Alpha Dog, Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Uh, no, no wonder I've never heard of her. Yeah, yeah no you've no never heard of her. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, Friday Night Lights was in California kind of Cation on Showtime. Uh, Criminal Minds. Okay, so is Depp, is Depp Zombie Land. I've only seen a few clips. Is Depp suing her for cash, or what is he yeah, suing for? Yeah, he's suing her. So, yeah. He's suing her for fifty for fifty million, and 50 she's million. so she's counter suing for a hundred million. Right. <laughs> <She earned> fifty dollars <laughs> for an article. Now he has the hundred million. She doesn't have the fifty million. Right. Not even. Maybe she'll ask she'll Elon, get Elon get Musk. Her checkbook out. Maybe Elon Musk will loan her the money. Hey, th she must well, have. Well, she she claimed she claimed. Wait a minute. She claimed yeah. that she gave two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to a certain charity, right? Very nice. And they don't know anything isn't, about it. Isn't that nice? No, they do know about it. They, oh, they, they, didn't, they didn't get, get the money. They, no, they did her. get. They did get the two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, they, they got it from Musk. They got it from Elon Musk. Yeah. No way, really? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. She must give a blowjob that is unbelievable. You know, a quarter million dollar blowjob. That's pretty damn good. Well, there's some. Oh. When, you, when you got when you're Elon Musk, you probably anything less than that is not good. The only thing, the only thing that makes me disrespect Johnny Depp is, why did you marry this woman? No, no kidding. You huh? could have gotten laid anyway. You know, why did you marry her? Because this, the minute this, you married her, it all turns sour. This, this kind Isn't of it's always the me, way. This reminds me of the the music singer Eminem, which I I don't think is music's music. His wife and him went to court about 10 years ago, and she wanted a restraining order and millions of dollars away from him. And the judge says, wait a minute. He, she says he's crazy. He says, of course he's crazy. Do you ever listen to his music? He talks about putting his girlfriend in the trunk of a car and driving it into a river <laughs> or lake or something. And, and she had no comment. In court. You were talking about that tonight. <laughs> uh, doing, uh, I was talking about putting you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> One less Republican. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I I think that it's an amazing cultural phenomenon, okay, 
that it is getting this much popularity. I mean, I, I you know, you can look and see how many people are watching it at any given time. And today it was, a, I got up to 1.3 million on one channel because they're like five different channels running it. I mean, it's just amazing. Yes, Charlene. Okay, I, this could be like a changing the subject thing. So if you want to do that, you know, I don't I'll say it. But, I, you know, I, I know you don't like that when someone changes the subject right away. Right? Well, I mean, what were you going to change it Only to? Only when I do it. Well, my friend today, right, she says, you know, like Ray Liotta died, blah, 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 blah. The first thing, and I'm saying this to her, and she didn't even correct me. I'm going, oh, my God, Ray Romano is dead? I said, oh, my God, I can't believe that. I said, all these comedians are... And so later on, when I saw the picture on my phone, I said, oh, my God, it wasn't Ray Romano. It's Ray Liotta. And I'm still shocked, you know, about him dying. Because, you know, what, who are they going to get to be in all the mob films and everything now, right? <laughs> Does that mean all of New Jersey is going to go into mourning because a uh, mob figure uh, <laughs> was uh, died? <laughs> ABC News Flash, Texas Governor Greg Abbott to skip NRA convention to return to the city where the, the murders went on the, the uh, of all these kids. God, the guy had a, a moment of, of, of being a nice guy all of a sudden. Well, he's, now, human. he's running for re-election. Duh. Well, what would happen? Well, he, if, sees, he sees a great backlash against him going on uh, right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and... And and he yeah, this is, an, is this an election year for him, for him? I wish Charlie were here. We could find Charlie. Him. It, it, it is. So. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Beto O'Rourke is going to. I was right. watching in Spanish, you know, because my husband watches, you know, Telemundo and all that. Right. It's really crazy in that area now. You know, like it's people are like going crazy. Well, every one, one of the Dallas. kids, every one of the kids was Latino. Yes. You know, Latino. And, and the two teachers were. And did you yeah. hear about one of the teachers who died? Her husband, husband was planning her funeral and died of a heart attack. Yeah. He found out the price. The yeah. From, <laughs> but, but from the, from the, stre hey, from the hey, stress. Hey, what would happen, you know, if the Depp trial gets a, over a million views, mm -hmm. uh, what would happen if you just took one of your shows and you relabeled it, uh, her Depp trial, and just posted your show with that, uh, with that headline, yeah. and would you get a million views? Well, I think only, off oh, YouTube. Oh, only if only if you if you played Amber Heard, <laughs> you, know. oh, you could get a blonde. You could get a blonde wig, Phil. And, and, and we could. Uh, maybe, hey, we, we got Charlene. We, no, and we could probably get Tony to be Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely come with on, Tony Johnny Depp for a thing, you know. Yeah. 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 Hey, Alan, you know, Depp yeah, Yes, Ray. So. If Johnny Depp gave two hundred fifty thousand dollars, he's worth two hundred and eighty billion. Well, he didn't dollars. give two hundred fifty thousand. I mean, I mean, Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. That no. is, uh, that is point zero 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 eight percent of his net worth. <laughs> yeah, right. I just That's did the math. math. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but yeah. he has he has what we call a lot of uh, you know fu money. When he gave the money, I don't think he had that much money. You know, uh, it was, was it 2017? Uh, yeah, then or, he had. Then he only had about a uh, uh, hundred billion. A hundred billion. Yeah. Something. So <laughs> you know, the numbers are a little. I mean, what's happened to him in the last couple of years? And I guess it all comes basically from Tesla. You know, uh, oh. he is uh, he is up to. I, did I read right that he's up to two hundred seventy-five billion dollars? Yes. Yesterday I looked; it was two hundred eighty-five billion. Yeah, and he's he's about a hundred billion ahead of uh, the guy from Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Do you think he'll be the first zillionaire? <laughs> Is trillion? You oh, it's trillion, trillion, billion, trillion. I, I never knew a number trillion, that big. But you know, I want to see when we hit whatever a gazillion is. Yeah. yeah, we always talk uh, about yeah, a yeah, Google. A Ray, Google. have you tried your new hot sauce? Yes, I have that. I was waiting for the moment. Alan sent me this. Alan I'll sent me this. Oh, Ghost, Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. I can't, I, if I, I kept if on I getting I, these emails that I was getting something from UPS. I was like, I didn't order anything. But yeah. that I was. Well, so I haven't talked. How hot is that? Wait a minute. I, I don't know yet. I haven't it's got that. three peppers. Thank you, Alan. I haven't talked about my, about it, my medical situation today or yesterday. Ooh. I uh, my hand has been killing me. 
I remember I mm -hmm. told you I fell on my hand. Yeah, yeah right, and, right. And the arthritis I had here started acting up again. Thing? And uh, no, I did something better than that. I finally went to my oh, doctor, doctor yesterday, and he gave me a cortisone shot. For the first time, I can do this. It, I'm going to do it, that in it, weeks. Cortisone takes a couple days to fully go to work. I know, probably... but it's working already. Excellent. Awesome. Good, yeah. news. Good, yeah. News. Yeah. Good news. Good news. You won't have to amputate your hand. No, but I mean, it was getting to the point where where I couldn't write. Okay. Yep. I mean, I'm. Uh, it's my right hand. You know. How do you think like I feel? I'm hand. not your age, but you know, should I weigh over 300 pounds when I fall on my hand? You know, they talk about amputation. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, you I, fall when, on your hand. They, uh, the earthquake uh, people are able to measure the, uh, you know, how, how much you move the earth. The earthquake people? Yeah, Less what was it? The geological <laughs> survey or whatever. The <laughs> geological. Richter scale. The Richter, Richter, Richter scale, scale, scale people. <laughs> but anyway, so, but the only thing about a cortisone shot, how many of you have ever had a cortisone shot? Yeah. That is the most painful shot. Oh, oh, I know. Really? I, I, am I right? I've had a couple in my knee. Like, wow. Didn't, they, in my didn't he give you a topical first? Well, he gave me. Yeah. A, he put a topical on there, but that isn't what hurts. What hurts is the needle goes in. It was on the surface. It's got yeah. some Novocaine in it. It's got some Novocaine in it. Mixed so initially, Novocaine. your hand feels better, but it's got Novocaine in it. And But they put it in there, and it stings. And just by the time it's so painful you want to start screaming, it's over. You yeah. know why? You know why it's so uncomfortable? Not the needle itself, Alex. It's because uh, cortisone is very thick. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. a viscosity. And if, pushing if you, it into an area that's already sore is why it hurts. Well, they also a lot. have to. It, they also have to put it into a, a, uh, a, a joint. joint or whatever. Yep, absolutely. So I mean, but but I'll tell you, you know, for the momentary pain that gave me, and then the pain, slight pain for about ten minutes afterwards. Uh, being able to just do this now with having it out it hurt without having it hurt you know and just to think about you know the the benefits i have in the masturbatory a area uh is you know because uh, i use the right hand you know in the masturbatory so do I. in the bathroom come on Ray. yeah yeah i'm very <laughs> right-handed and i have carpal tunnel on my right hand and my trigger finger is what they call it it, uh, it, I'd have to get injections in it, but we're done. No more injections in the trigger finger. If I need it, I got to have surgery. And I said, how long will I be without my right hand? And he said, 10 days. Start learning how to wipe your rear with your left hand. I'm like, <laughs> God. I got one of these new toilet seats that sprays your butt. Yeah, well, they're <laughs> called bidet. Yeah, bidet. It, but it's I like have, it's not just to the awesome. toilet, though. But bidet, is it the bidet, outdoor bidet, one? Bidet, isn't that what the Australians say? Well, oh, they, in Italy, bidet. they have them everywhere. What what, what the, brand do you have, Ray? Uh, I don't remember. Is it I, don't, I have to go look. Does it work good? It works great. It has a heater. Send me one. It cleans the toilet. Really? I have one, too. It's awesome. They're expensive. My wife yeah. bought it. I don't even know. I know they are. How, well, I know. Oh, you buy, have one? Wait, yeah. Did she buy it for yeah, yeah. you or did she buy I, it for her? They're not expensive if you just get the kind that goes on top. And yeah, that's what we got. Like a, a hundred and fifty bucks. Or oh, something. that's all it was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we yeah. got. Yeah, yeah. You just have to have an outlet nearby. Right. And then oh. it also heat it'll also heat the seat as well. Yes. It's quite a luxury. And you yes. have to hook it up to the water. It's Ray so awesome. To, Ray does his show from in there now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it keeps me calm. Well, you know, I uh, I still have an, oh, the old toilet. You know what? You know what I never liked though. I never could figure out. I, I every now and then when I was in when I was dating, and maybe I'd go over to a woman's place, and I'd have to go use her bathroom. Women seem to some of them seem to have fallen in love with these like foam toilet seats. You know? Oh, I hate those. Oh God. That was can't get the, any leverage. You can't you can't get any leverage. It doesn't spread the cheeks. I mean it's horrible. Right. It's but, horrible. Oh it's it's and I don't want to be that comfortable when I'm no. taking a poop. No, I want right? to do my business, wipe and leave. Yeah, and know? leave, yeah. Or either that or I want to read a good book. But something what I hate else. is when you have a woman around and you rush in there and you do your business and she has done you a favor by lowering the toilet seat. I yeah. mean, lowering the lid, which, yeah. of course, when I live alone, I don't usually lower the lid. So. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, Marjorie said, said to me, 
you know, why don't you leave the seat down? You put the seat down when you're through. Right. Every woman says that. My feeling That's is, why, why, why don't, why why don't you? Head. Why don't you? Put it down when you need it. Exactly. Doesn't that, even use you know, the that's why the toilet. he uses the shower. That's why I use my own bathroom <laughs> and I leave it the way I want. And Faye uses her own bathroom. Okay. And, uh, you know, and I leave the seat in the condition that I want it to be in. Yeah, we have, we, have, we have two bathrooms here. But, you know, one of them's kind of, you got to go through the pantry to get to it. <laughs> oh, that's right. I <laughs> use that one. Oh, you use that one when you were here? I, I'm pretty sure I did. Because yeah. you could have go walked walk all the way down the hall and used the bigger bathroom. But I don't yeah, know. I just remember seeing it. I just remember seeing it. Was the seat yeah. comfortable, Ray? Do you remember? It was just standard, you know. Yeah, it was standard. I I don't. Yeah. But I, you can get something to eat on the way. <clears throat> what a strange uh, yeah. architectural. <laughs> Alan, a strange architectural the design thing. to put it. Wait, you know the what? what? <laughs> Like a catalog for old people, they have that tacky toilet seat with all the uh, gold coins in it and all that. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what kind I hate is when you go to somebody's house and who can't like stand up very well, and they have like those handles and the plastic, and um, you're like, ah, oh, man, yeah, I hate that. The, the only trouble with that is trying to reach around there to get underneath. Wait, wait, it's like, yeah, what, possible. What do you? I did a measure tonight in an in an old folks area. And they had really tall toilets. Uh, they, these, uh, you know, they they were at least four four inches higher than a standard toilet. Why? I don't know uh, why they do that. If it's to transfer from a wheelchair or that could be their problem. knees. They can't bend uh, their knees. Um, yeah, yeah. They, I, I, you, you know, know that that, that, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll be getting one of those. Well, you know what happened to me? Right? I mentioned this earlier with, with Slayton, and I think I talked about it last night. It's never happened to me in my entire life, even when I was a kid. The other night, I was sleeping and rolled over and fell mm -hmm. out of bed. Oh, uh, wow. oh I've done that. Oh, I've Have you? That. Yes. Yeah. That's I pretty, had a nightmare, that, and I that, fell out of bed in Mexico on the concrete floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was all bruised up and cut and everything. Well, I, 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 I did. padded carpet room. I hit the rug, but I got a rug burn. I don't know if you can, if you can see yeah. it there. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and, and Marjorie said it sounded like an explosion when you hit the floor. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, because as opposed to maybe just rolling over and falling out. I mean, I've fallen out of bed when I've been having sex with somebody and we've gotten a little rambunctious. And I like, you know, I, God, I, I, I fell happens. off the bed. But I didn't fall with dead weight. But I was sleeping. And so what fell over and onto the floor was dead wow, weight. Wow. That's yeah, so so lucky, lucky you didn't break a bone. Well, also, I mean, I landed on this hand and it got even worse. That's why I finally oh, went to the doctor. You know, and also I wanted him to X-ray the hand to make sure it didn't get broken. My bed is 36 inches off the floor because I have a double drawer platform oak bed frame, and so I'm glad I've never rolled off of that. Yeah, you know, we. Uh, that's a that's a that you can get up a lot of speed in three feet. I think I think <laughs> this is about two feet off the floor. I think. Yeah. You know, at that door, it's not fun. At that Dorchester Hotel, the bed that I stayed in was very high off the floor because they were like antique style where they had bedpan warmers, which they didn't use, but they were under there. It was like a, a looked like a shovel with a uh, yeah. with a top on it. Yeah. And uh, that was part of the decoration of the room. When you stayed there, did they have those? I don't remember. It was so long ago when I stayed at the Dorchester, I don't yeah. even remember the hotel room. It's yeah. now a Motel Six, Phil. It's now Mot It's now the Dorchester Six. <laughs> you know, it's still it's still the fanciest hotel. It, right now, it's considered the, one of the fanciest hotels in uh, in London. In the world. At that time, it wasn't. But, Where is it? Uh, huh? In London. London. Oh, London. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was near. Sa it was there. near Savile Row. That's why they put me up there. You know, yes. I was over there to visit with the Beatles. Sorry. Um, London is just... expensive. The Beatles. Huh? London's expensive to stay in overnight. Phil, yeah. Phil likes rooms with Beatles in them. Yeah, but I, but the, but the radio station, the rooms. radio station was paying for it, so I didn't give a good goddamn. Is that when you were James Bond, and it was after that? You know, that's when I was. 
Was I James, James Bond? James Bond, oh, geez. can't remember if I was or wasn't. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Oh, no, oh, did no, you I, was here, no I was here in New York at the time. Oh. So I, you well, went there to cover the Beatles? Yeah. Oh, wait. Paul wow, was, how cool. Well, I was over there to cover the uh, Is Paul Dead? Paul is dead. Yeah, oh. the Paul is dead thing. Right. Yeah. And uh, uh, most of them are out of town, but uh, Ringo oh. wasn't. So. Well, is, is Paul dead? No. He lives in South well, America. Have you heard his music lately? Or something, yeah. Yeah, I guess he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Him and Elvis are sharing a bungalow in Colombia. <laughs> huh? <laughs> a bungalow. Boy, that hot sauce Elvis. went right to your head, Ray. <laughs> but um, um, anyway, um, uh, so Matt, um, I guess uh, um, were, you weren't upset after last night's show, were you? Uh, no, I wasn't upset. I, I was glad to be able to vent a little and hear other people's opinions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, what happened? Oh, this was a battle royale last night. Go watch night. the show. Okay, I'll watch it. <laughs> Go back and watch it. Yeah, okay. Phil, Phil. Alex versus Phil. The old Phil was and a little the, bit the old Phil. Alex. The old Phil was back. Oh, the guns and all. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, because uh, what's his name? Uh, and uh, more. Uh, Ryan lit into both Phil and me over the damn over our, our beliefs on guns. So yeah, 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 we're big boys, no big deal. Well, Vernon Nunn wrote me a whole encyclical today about it. You know, he was very upset when he heard when he heard it last night. Yeah, and so he had to just write me and just get it off his chest. And it was some I good know, stuff he wrote. I thought it was pretty good. Huh? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. We got to do something. I mean, it's every right be... every country has mental illness. You know. Yeah. Well, it's, so there's just it's too just, many, like uh, assault rifles and all this shit. Uh, there was some guy interviewing uh, Ted Cruz from a foreign press, and he said, "Why is it your country seems to be the only country that has this on a on a real mass scale?" And uh, uh, immediately, <coughs> Cruz looks at him and goes, "Oh, you don't like America?" <laughs> he asked a uh, question. Poor thing. If he had two brain cells, he'd be dangerous. Well, you know, I mean, it, it was just, it, it, the fact is that everywhere in the world, they're scratching their heads because they've all solved this problem the minute it showed up. And Australia is a perfect example. Yeah. They just they just passed laws that said you can't have guns. That's it. I, you know, I and said there that. hasn't been another mass shooting in that country in 20 years. And, and, in, China, they, and in China, they just harvest your organs. What? what does that have to do with it? It's, 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 you, you, it you always you, change you know, the subject. Uh, well, think about it. I mean, you know, okay. so here I'm you can protect yourself, but in China, uh, they got a group of people that they just harvest their organs and put into camps. But what does and, that have to do with school shootings? Well, it has to do with if Nothing. that happens. What does that have to do? What does that have to do with mass murder in 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 the because United States? Because you can defend yourself in this country. Okay. We have so the right. So you're just saying we'd be better, better if we harvested organs? No, we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So if we didn't have 450 million guns, our organs would be harvested? Well, uh, talk, bizarre, about, talk, about, happen, yeah. talk about the pursuit of happiness to those 18 kids who are now dead. Yeah, and they would have been a lot happier if the teacher had a gun. Oh, really? Oh, you think that would have stopped they the guy? They had a gun. You know. oh, Here we go, start. folks. We're off to the races <laughs> again. The teacher oh, didn't whoops. Have a gun. There's a theme I, song. Uh, uh, I got real quick. What? I, I got something to say, too. Quick. Matt, Phil was Matt, a bullet sponge. Matt. Phil, that's right. Phil, the teacher had a gun. The bad guy's going to see that as a threat. He's going to kill the teacher right, right off the top. How about you, I Matt? Matt? Well, only Pizza. if it was you. Matt? The NRA convention is tomorrow. Trump will be there. And guess what will not be allowed inside? Yeah, we, I just guns. guns. <laughs> anyway. That's what they said. Hey, that's it for tonight, okay? I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's in Texas. You can be able, You get a free gun for walking in the door. Yay, ghost you pepper. get a gun and you get a gun yeah. and you get a gun. Anybody that wants the pepper, send me a message offline and I'll Yay, Alan, yay, I'll, Alan. I'll Woo. send you a, I'll send you a bottle if you really Is like that hot? hot Is that really hot stuff? Yeah. It, it, it's pretty damn hot. Ghost yeah, peppers, peppers are supposed to be really hot. There was some YouTube I saw where this guy was bringing a sandwich in to to his work. You and want some somebody, Alan, so I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll send some to you. And somebody kept eating it. So he put some ghost peppers in it, 
and, and the guy almost had a heart attack oh, after yeah. he ate his sandwich. Well, my wife, my wife loves uh, loves hot stuff. So send I'll, I'll send you a bottle. It's anyway, hey, listen, uh, that's it for tonight. Jeff, you've been quiet, but thanks for being the first one here tonight and talking to me for a while. Uh, so you're very welcome. Sorry, and I was uh, uh, Phil, thank you for calling because you pitied me. Uh, <laughs> Charlene, thank you for calling tonight. Nice having you. I haven't seen you in a while. Matt? Oh, two nights in a row. This has been wonderful. You're yeah, a, good, you. a good addition to the show. Nice Alan, to you. you too, and Ray, we'd love to see you more often, okay? Everybody, give yourself a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? And there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel uh, for tonight. Uh, that's it. Uh, and there's no Jack Bishop next. Uh, part of the reason there's no Jack Bishop is because... Uh, Jack is, uh, hold on a second, I've got I've, something happened here. There we go. Uh, Jack Bishop has got uh, s- a certain medical problems and he's in the hospital, but it's not, it's not life-threatening or anything like that, so don't worry about that part of it. But uh, he's not going to be up next, so that's it. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night same time same station in life and in the meantime as always if you see her tell her i love her okay night everybody